Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homey. And in today's video, we're gonna take a detailed look at Homey Script. Now, that might frighten a few of you, but the aim of this video is to sort of introduce Homey Script to you so that you understand how you can utilize that feature for flow creation around your home and obviously creating a better smart home using the tools that Homey Script provides. Now, Personally, it's a little bit out of my depth, so I've invited our creative director, Emil Nysa, to join me for this video to explain a little bit about how it works, and we'll go through it in detail together. Now, I wanted to ask you, why did you set up HomeScript? So, uh, HomeScript is one of our famous Hacky Friday projects. So, as you might know, um, in our company, we have something called Hacky Friday, yeah. and that means that every last Friday of the month, all employees can take one day off to work on something they think uh, is, is really nice or valuable, as long as it has to do with Homey. So HomeScript started as one of those projects. Um, and from then on, basically it got some traction uh, from our users. And uh, we figured, well, this is so nice. Let's incorporate it even in the, the web app. And what can you do with HomeScript? So HomeScript is for the more advanced users um, who are not afraid of uh, programming a little bit. So it's, it's completely different from programming a Homey app. That, that's really for the developers. But with HomeScript, you can go much deeper than you can with Flows because you are typing JavaScript um, and you're calling functions that Homey um, makes available for you um, that usually other vendors like IFTTT or Alexa or Google also use to uh, control Homey but then from within the Homey app. Okay, so you can create your own complex flows or more complex flows using Homey script if you have a little bit of JavaScripting exactly. knowledge. So, okay. so for example, in programming, there's a concept called a loop where you are uh, doing the same function over and over again. Um, that's something that's really hard to do in flows, but in, in code, it's very easy if you know how to code, obviously. Um, so Homey script makes that available for you. All right, well, let's get into it and show me how it all works. All right, let's dive in. All right, so uh, we're in the Homey web app uh, in the last top called Homey script. So uh, you're already familiar with Homey web app, right? I'm pretty familiar with it. Actually, I just did a video on the Homey web app exploring how you guys can use it as well. So make sure to check the description down below for a link to that video. And now I'm done with my plug, so you <laughs> All right, thanks, Alex. <laughs> so let's continue. Um, so before you can use HomeScript, you have to install the HomeScript app on Homey first. And we made it very easy. There's just one button here and you have to press it. And then you'll see that Homey starts rotating blue and it will install the HomeScript app. Now, uh, wait a few seconds. And then when that's done, the web app will automatically switch over to the HomeScript view. Okay. So to my knowledge now, you're installing HomeScript on your Homey. Yeah, so it, it is a separate app uh, made by us as well, but it's easier so we can update it um, separately from Homey firmware releases. Um, oh, okay. And also to, well, you know, it's, so it's still pretty advanced. So we're not really comfortable with putting it in Homey core because then our support team will, you know, get a lot of questions about Homey script and we really don't have the time to do that. Um, so that's also one of the reasons why we keep it separate. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. All right, so um, here, as you can see in the sidebar, there are already a lot of uh, example scripts uh, for you. So you can really start exploring what is already possible. Um, so we try to make everything that HomeScript can do, give it a great example. So let's just start with um, example say.js. Pretty easy, um, if you know how to program, of course. Um, and what this example shows is that uh, you can use HomeScript to make Homey say something through its own speaker. Uh, so let's just test it. So there's a test button on the top and that makes you, uh, well, test the script. So let's hit that. Hello from Homey script. And now you can hear that Homey says that. Um, so you're ready to dive into the code? I, I would love to. So Emil, can you make Homey say something else? Yeah, of course. So if you look at the code here, um, you can see that the text hello from Homey script, which is what Homey just said, uh, is between quotation marks. So you can actually change it to uh, to what is uh, whatever you want. Can you Not change it to, hey, I'm Alex from Homey? Sure, sure. So you want to automate your videos? Yeah, I don't need to say that every time we start a new video. I can just have Homey do it. All right, let's see how that... Uh... Hey, I'm Alex from Homey. Well, it's a nice female voice for you. So <laughs> I think we found a replacement. Okay, so it was that quick to create your own custom string mm -hmm. for a voice command on Homey. That's it. Okay, cool. And it, it might even uh, look a little bit more diff difficult because you see here that 
type of arcs, his string, and you know what's happening here. So um, we'll dive into that later, but a homie script can also be started from a flow. And you can even uh, attach an argument to that. So you can start a homie script uh, and then have the text of what homie should say, for example, as the first argument. Now, homie, of course, already has a flow card say something. So you're basically replacing a flow card. It's not really useful. But if you have another uh, script, for example, uh, get the weather from some API online and you need a dynamic location, then you can use that in your homie script. Okay, very interesting. Are I think still following me? Yeah, I got a little bit lost on what an argument was. An argument is um, uh, it's like a, how do you explain that? It's a parameter that you can pass to the script and that, that can change every time. Okay. So a script, you, you write code and the code always does the same, but based on stuff you put in, uh, the, the script behavior might change. Okay. And that, that's basically what programming is all about. So you write a script and the script does something different based on what you put in. Okay, and those... It's like a machine and you put something in, something Those out. differences are the arguments. Yes. Okay, okay, interesting. So, show me a little bit more. Um, Could you, for instance, turn off this light? Yes, I can turn off this light. Okay. Um, so let's let's go to the example turn on devices. Well, they turn them on, but you sure. need to turn them off. So uh, what we do in this script, uh, the first step is we uh, get all your devices on homey and we do that by uh, typing await homey.devices.getDevices. So this is an API call and in the video description you can find a link to the API reference so you know where to find these methods so you don't have to remember them. So that's step one, get all the devices and then this is the loop I told you about earlier. So we loop over all your devices and then we check if the device class is or a light or its virtual class is a light. A virtual class in, in Homey script is the um, answer you answered uh, on what's plugged in. So if you have a socket, for example, and you say what's plugged in, a light, then Homey's virtual class will be a light. So it will behave as a light, basically. Okay, okay. I understand that. I use that a few times in my flows. So I make sure that, for instance, my plugs are allocated as lights to make sure that if I say turn off lights, that those plugs are also turned off. Exactly. Okay, I so think that's, that's a, a pretty neat feature, especially if you use voice assistants or, or yeah. other speech commands, they behave as lights. Absolutely. But in your homie script, you have to uh, take that into account, that they're not real lights, but they're virtual lights. Okay, so you got to use the virtual class. Yes. Okay. And then uh, we can lock something. And if you lock something, it will appear here on the bottom where a script output uh, is, is located. And then this is actually where the, where the real magic happens. Device.set capability value uh, is where you actually change the state of, of your light. So we change the state of on off, which is how we call if it's turned on or off, to true. But you want to turn it off, right? So we change it to false? You're smart. Oh, you see. All right, so we change this to smart uh, to false. And now we just uh, hit test. And then you can see here in the console that everything is being turned off and all oh, your light has just turned off. So that turned off all of the lights in my home yes. that are all connected to Homey. Yeah, exactly. And my plugs that I've allocated as lights. Exactly. Okay, very cool. And that's uh, how you can do that. So maybe uh, as some inspiration, you could create a Homey script that changes the brightness of your lights uh, according to the time of day. So you can make a night light maybe. Your, your lights will dim automatically over time. When yeah, so time with sunrise or so, you can have that trigger and then have your lights all come to around 100% around midday or so. Exactly, yeah. Okay, very interesting. And you would use Homey script to set that up as opposed to multiple different flows in the flow editor, which can get a little bit more complex, mm -hmm. let's say. Then Homey script is a perfect tool to actually simplify the process and create one script well simplify depending on your skill level but yes okay. so you can do more advanced stuff e more easily compared to flows okay and uh, i think what's also uh, nice to uh, show is uh, maybe this one uh, example condition um, so this is an example we provide in homey script uh, that you can use in a flow um, and what this script does is basically there's one argument in there I just told you about arguments, right? Yeah. And if the argument starts with an A, so it's a piece of text, and if the argument starts with an A, then the flow will continue. And if it does not start with an A, the flow will stop. So this is not useful, but depending on what you want to do here, maybe you want to um, have an API call to some external service. Uh, and then if that's true, then continue the flow. And if it's not true, stop it. So let's just create a flow then that uh, demos this. So you're adding a condition 
a custom condition created in Homey script to your flows that you have running on Homey. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So um, for the, this example, we'll just have a this flow is started and then an end and we scroll down to Homey script and then run. And you can see here that there's a normal run and run with argument. Well, in our case, we want to run with argument. And now we search for example condition, which is our script. Okay. So that's the first uh, flow card uh, parameter. Actually, a flow card also has arguments. We just don't call them like that. You, you were already secretly programming. Okay. Yeah, argument was a new term, but uh, okay. Yeah. So we, so, and, and then the second um, field, which is the text field, is the argument. So um, if we type in AAAA here, for example. Okay, that contains an A. Right, and that was your condition. Exactly, it starts with an A. Okay. And then if that's true, let's just let Homie say yes. So we test this. Yes. But now let's change this one to B A A A. So this should return false in Homie script. And then the flow, you can see here, stopped because you see the exclamation mark. It was not true, so it doesn't continue. Okay. And that's how you can combine Homie script with your flows. And then of course for your, your Dan cards, there are also home script cards, so you can run a script as well and have an argument as well. Okay, super interesting. If you're still following this, then make sure to check out Homey script, obviously, install it on your Homey, test some things out using some of the examples that you've created. There are you a lot can of also... examples for you. So we've, we've made sure that everything that Homey script can do is actually, there's an example for it. And you can create your own Homey script from scratch. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a great way to start for that is to head to the GitHub for Homey script. Yes, the link is in the description. Okay, I'll put it down There's below. There's also yeah. documentation about what you can do uh, with in your scripts uh, with HomeScript. Okay, great guys. Well, I think we've dived into it. We've quickly shown you what it's all about and some of the possibilities. And if you're looking obviously for more information, head to that GitHub page. And if you have any questions, make sure just to leave comments down below on this, on this video and I'll try and answer them or I'll get Emil here to answer them if they're really complicated. And, you know, we're going to help you create your own homey scripts to really create a better smart home. Well, thanks, guys. And have fun with homey scripts. <laughs>